Hey guys, welcome back to another top five. So, uh, yeah, look at my hair. I have no hairs. I, I told you guys I cut it all off. So I'm going to regrow it and then hopefully do my hair again. But, yep, I am bald now. I feel like slate. Damn, them inside jokes though. Anyway, for these, for those of you who came from CMOS channel, then this is probably the first time you see me. And <laughs> I guess I'm not as presentable as I usually am because usually I have hair. Usually I wear my hat, but we're not going to go with that today. And, uh, what else, what else? I, I got, I got long fingernails. See? I, I like, sometimes when I'm bored, I like to cut my nails into claws. I know I'm weird like that, but, hey, that's why you guys subscribed to me, right? So, we're gonna do another top five. I know we did a top five last week, but we're gonna do another one just to finish it off. So, last week, we did my top five favorite spell cards. This time, we're gonna do my top five most hated spell cards, and I want to see if you guys can really guess, because I, I bet you guys can guess a couple of them, but I don't think you guys can guess my number one. So we're just going to go down the list, and uh, go ahead and participate by commenting in the comment section below your top five most hated spell cards in the comment section below. So without further ado, let's get started. So starting off with number five, my number five most hated spell card in all of Yu-Gi-Oh! is Creature Swap. I do not like that card, and you guys are going to see a pattern with this list. Uh, just off, it just seems like such a just a dirty card. Where it's just like, oh, uh, I'm gonna give you my little cheap crappy monster for your really big juicy monster. You know, you spend all that time summoning that monster, and all I have to do is summon like a freaking effect veiler and creature swap and give me your monster. And, it, and you get to keep it for like forever, too. Like, if it was maybe just till the end of the turn, I wouldn't mind it as much, but you get to just keep my monster you just have to swap my monster the time the monster that i took the time and effort to put on the field and all you gotta do is just play a goddamn creature swap and take my monster and i gotta get your crappy ass monster which you probably as a weak attack you probably summon attack mode just so you can just attack it with my monster and then i take the damage and then it goes to your graveyard especially if it's something that floats like burning abyss or yang zing or something and then you get that effect too it's just like damn you know what no I, fuck so definitely do not like creature swap never did never will don't touch my mom's states. I mm, can't stand that shit. So, like I say, you're going to see your pattern. So, Creature Swap, number five of my most hated spell cards. So, moving on to number four. My number four most hated spell card is... Mind Control. Stop checking my fucking monsters. I can't stand that shit. So, yes, number four is Mind Control. And the reason why I hate this is just because you can do so much with it. So, you know, as you just progress, we've gotten so many different cards to take your monster. It's just like, hey... You know, change your heart? No, no, that's too busted. Ban it. All right. Uh, brain control? No, no, that's too busted. Ban it. Snatch steel? No, 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 no. Still too busted. No, blah, blah. but mind control, of course, is at one and it's still the legal creatures taking card. And it goes up and down with popularity, but I just can't stand it just because it's like, oh yeah, you well you can't you can't tribute it and you can't attack with the monster, but there's other things you could do with it. And as the game has progressed, definitely, uh, you know. It just sucks. It's just like the more the game progressed, the more that you see it. And I actually had a duel one time in real life. I had a duel. And we went to round three. And every single round, he used my control and he used it in the various ways that you can use it. So one duel, he went ahead, my control, take my monster, exceed with it. God damn it. Then <laughs> another duel, he took my mind control, my monster, which would move it out of the way, and then attack me for game. God damn it. Then, of course, he took my monster, my control, and synchroed with it. So he synchroed the C and moved out of the right to hit, hit me for game. And I was just like, man, fuck this card. Ah, oh, mind control. But, uh, you know, it's not as bad as other cards. But I, I'm glad it's at one. Because if it was any higher, I wouldn't like it. And I'm glad that really it's just the only one right now. And it goes up and down with popularity. Sometimes you play it, sometimes you don't. But it's just like, ah, oh, mind control, man, fuck you. All right, so that is number four on my list so uh, moving on to number three i'm gonna have to say soul charge yeah soul charge i i've always not been a big fan of that card and it's just you know it's just like oh monster reborn is so busted you revive one monster you know it's a one for one but soul charge like oh my god that's fair you know and it's just like oh but you can't attack and you pay life points but it's all about the resources and i've lost a handful of duels just because my opponent top decks soul charge summons a whole bunch of monsters of unbreakable field of just stupidity and also you know soul charge made one of my most hated decks on you Yu-Gi-Oh, i eat infernities win worlds so yep so definitely not a big fan of soul charge and 
And the reason why it's lower down this list is because I also use Soul Charge, so I was trying to, you know, be like, yeah, I hate the card, but, you know, I don't want to be a hypocrite as well. So to an extent, yes, I know I'm a hypocrite, I use Soul Charge, who doesn't, but I still hate the card, you know? If Kanabi went up and decided to go ahead and ban Soul Charge, I would not care. I would, I would be fine with that. That's fine. Because Soul Charge is just a disgusting card in particular decks, and at particular times, it's just like, it could be one of the most disgusting cards that you've ever seen. So, yep. So definitely number three, I've had to say Soul Charge. So, uh, moving on to number two. So, so I said, said Creature Swap. I said Mind Control. So, can you guys guess number two? Which you guys are probably guessing would be my number one. Number two is Snatch Steel. Why did they bring that back? Like, I, I, I don't even care the format. You were testing it. It doesn't matter, you know. And, you know, I'm one of those people who say that evidence of absence is not the absence of evidence. Where just because we have MST doesn't mean that it makes Snatch Steel fair. And, you know, especially in that format where we have triple vanities and triple skill drain and Snatch Steel. We only have three MSTs, and if you don't get it, then your monster's getting snatched. You can, you know, and it's just like, oh, you take their monster, you give them a thousand. Who the fuck cares? Generally, the monster that you're going to take with fucking Snatch Steel is going to be stronger than a thousand. So fuck the thousand you're getting because you're going to be losing more from that monster smacking you in the face. And I don't know why they cut that, brought that card back. I thought it was stupid. When I saw it on the list, I was just like, no. And I'm glad that they immediately banned it to next fucking list. You know, there are people like, oh, no, no, they're not going to re-ban Creature Swap. They just brought it back. It's not that bad. It was that bad. That card sucks. And it's a card that would never be power creep because taking your opponent's monster is always good. It's always, you're going to take their monster, which is, of course, their shield from you attacking them directly, and then beat them with it and use their monster's effect. It, exceed with it, synchro with it, do whatever you want with it. Creature Swap will never be out pace and it's definitely a powerful card and it just made me sick to my stomach and of course i used it myself and it made me sick to my stomach and now that i used it, i mean it made me sick to my stomach and i'm just glad that the card is banned i'm glad that that card is gone and i never want to see that card come back again never ever 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 all right so before we move on to number one let's just quickly go down the list so number five creature swap number four mind control number three soul charge number two snatch steel and you guys I bet you that you did not guess my number one. I bet it. I bet it. I, 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 I bet you guys five bucks that no one guessed my number one most hated spell card in Yu-Gi-Oh. I'm going to give you a second. Go ahead. Keep guessing. No. No. That's wrong. Nope. 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 My number one most hated spell card is Supply Squad. And you guys are like, what? Like, Really? Out of all the cards, Supply Squad. I hate Supply Squad just because it fucks with the game mechanic of Yu-Gi-Oh. In the game of Yu-Gi-Oh, your monster gets killed, it goes to the graveyard, you lose resources. That's just basic mechanics of Yu-Gi-Oh. With freaking Supply Squad, you get rewarded for doing bad. And I, I, I just can't stand the fact that that's what Creature Swap... I mean, Creature Swap. I don't think about Creature Swap. Supply Squad does. I, I can't stand that shit. And then, don't get me started with fucking multiples, like, oh, come on, I kill your monster, you draw three, and it's not even like, there's any tweak or restriction to make it less potent. It's like, oh, uh, when it's just destroyed, period. So if you're playing something like Scraps or Burning Abyss or something, and your shit gets destroyed by your own shit, you need to draw a card, like, what? Like, I didn't even destroy your shit, and you still get to draw cards? Like, no. You know, and... It doesn't even be like, oh, we need monsters to show it and send to the graveyard. So, like, hey, you're going to back and play macro, and then you won't drop a supply squad. No, just destroy, period. You know, so my shit's destroyed, and that goes back to the extra deck. I get to draw a card. It's just like, why did they make that card? And I know it's not a popular card, and not everybody uses it, but I just can't stand how it literally just makes me take my attention off the duel. Where I could be dueling, you know, I, yeah, I want to kill your monsters. I want you to burn through resources so I can get ahead in this duel. But then, as soon as I activate that supply squad, I'm like, God fucking damn it. Now I got to deal with fucking supply squad before I even fucking come after you because I don't want to kill your monster now. I don't. Even one supply squad, I don't want to kill your monster because I don't want you to draw. That, you know, I'm, I'm pretty much breaking rule number one and rule number two of Yu-Gi-Oh. For those of you who don't know, rule number one, never let your opponent draw. Rule number two, never let your opponent draw. And it's pretty much breaking the rules. I'm breaking the rules. I'm breaking the rules of Yu-Gi-Oh by killing your monster, which I should be doing, but then I'm letting you draw because I killed your monster, which I shouldn't be doing. So it just messes with my mind. I hate that card. It, it takes all my full attention whenever I see it, and it just just like, why? Why did you make this card? It punishes... It doesn't punish. It rewards badness. It, it, you kill... Your monster's dead. 
that's what, your monster's dead. You don't get rewarded. You know? It's like it's like it's like if your mommy kisses your boo boos every time you get hurt. Like, no, you know, man up, man up, take that hit. Move on. Don't be like, oh, oh, poor thing, your monster got destroyed here, draw a card. Like, no! No. So there you go. There you go. I bet no one guessed my number one. No one. Because Alright, when I see the card sometimes, I just like, ugh. So, there you go. There is my top five most hated spell cards. And, you know, a lot of them, I was like, I was like, maybe this, maybe that, maybe this. But I was like, no, it has to be something that was relevant as of late. Something just enough to just piss me off and tick me off and definitely these cards for it. So, tell me what your guys' most hated five spell cards are in the comment section below. Uh, so, uh, this is another top five. Uh, next week for a live video, I'll probably do another webcam duels. Yeah, this definitely seems like it's time for webcam duels. Uh, I should be going to local soon. Uh, my Klee deck is almost complete. I'm still working on it. We're still working on the side deck. And, you know, there's one locals that's close to me, but I'm not sure if I want to go to it. And there's the locals on the other side of town that, you know, the majority of people go to. But it's on the other side of town, and I don't like driving like that. But uh, I should. I should definitely go. And, uh, yeah. Uh, anyway... I'm Evil Mastery, so now you get to see my face, my bald head. I can't wait for my hair to grow back. It looks like he's growing back a little bit, because I, you know, like a couple days ago, I was like completely bald. So it looks like I'm growing my hair back. Then when it grows back, I can go ahead and, uh, you know, perm it again and have my luxurious locks again. But, yep, I'm bald for right now. <laughs> so for you guys wondering, if you guys haven't heard already, uh, The League, which is probably what you're here for from Seamus Channel, it will be on Saturday and Sunday at 12 p.m. and 2 p.m. Pacific Time, convert to whatever. Both Saturday and Sunday, and they'll stay that way every week until the playoffs. So, I hope you guys are looking forward to it. So, anyway, thanks for watching, thanks for all the support, and I will see you guys next live video, which will probably be webcam duels. And hopefully I'll have more hair by then. It's like a week, and I am black. I am black. A lot of people are like, wait. You're black? You don't even sound black. I'm black, okay? I am black. So, I will grow this hair back real quick. So, anyway, thanks for watching, thanks for all the support, and I will see you guys in the next live video. Thanks for watching.